All right, so this is the seven advantages to cloud. I said six, but I meant to say seven. And so, um, you know, since I've created fundamental courses for all the cloud service providers, I started to notice kind of a trend. And so what I did is I normalized it into my own seven advantages. And this actually maps up really well to the new benefits of the cloud. So it looks like AWS was thinking the same as I was. Um, with the exception of those cloud architect stuff, which I keep in a separate section. But let's go through it and see what is here. So the first is cost effective. You pay for what you consume, no upfront costs, on-demand pricing. So pay as you go, P-A-Y-G, with thousands of customers sharing the, on, uh, sharing the cost of resources. AWS uh, used to refer to this always as on-demand pricing. And Azure always said, pay as you go. And so it looks like AWS now uses both on-demand and pay as you go to describe them, which is great. Um, but there you go. Then we have global. So launch workloads anywhere in the world. Just choose a region. It's secure. So cloud provider takes care of physical security. Cloud services can be secure by default, or you have the ability to configure access down to a granular level. Uh, it's reliable. So data backup, disaster recovery, data replication, fault tolerance. It's scalable. Increase or decrease resources and services based on demand. Uh, elastic. So automate scaling during spikes and drop in demand. Current. So the underlying hardware and, and managed uh, software is patched, upgraded, and replaced by the cloud provider without interruption to you. So I think this is one that isn't on the benefits of the cloud, which is a really good one. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the seven.